these monsters in the south want to do away with Roe v. Wade and they don't care if the woman is going to die in childbirth. You call that pro-life? Hi, this is Ty again in New York City. According to a recently leaked majority opinion draft, the Supreme Court of the United States is poised to overturn Roe v. Wade, the landmark 1973 ruling that guaranteed federal protection to Americans' abortion rights. When Roe is gone, it's up to the state to decide whether to ban abortion or not. Abortion has been a topic that divided the United States along partisan and religious lines. Today, we're going to be asking New Yorkers how they think of Scott's decision on abortion rights. So without further ado, let's dive right into it. So the first question is, do you know what is Roe v. Wade? Yeah. Uh, can you summarize it briefly? It was the Supreme Court ruling to allow abortion. Do you know what is Roe v. Wade? I do not. Uh, so do you support that women who have the choice to choose whether or not to abort the baby? Correct. Yep. I'm not American, but I know it's like, uh, you know, the right to, it has to do with the right to abortion. What do you think? Are you pro-choice or pro-life? I'm absolutely pro-choice. Uh, pro-choice. Yeah, I'm pro-choice, yeah. I mean, in my country, it's very normal and no one would ever contest the right to abortion. No one ever questioned the right to abortion in my country. I'm, I'm from Belgium. My belief is that a woman's body is her own body and that whether she has a pregnancy or not, it remains her own body. I'm not for abortions, no. I believe that women have the right to, but I also believe that, that there's a lot of pain and hurt even after the abortions are done, meaning that these women will have challenges through the rest of their life with these choices that they made. I believe that God gives us all a choice, but there's also pain and, and repercussions for the decisions that we do make. Well, even the, even the name of, the, of those categories is false. These monsters in the South want to do away with Roe v. Wade and they don't care if the woman is going to die in childbirth. They, they don't make an exception for that. You call that pro-life? If the woman doesn't want to bring another person into the world for X reason, that's her right. It's her body, it's her fetus. You know, the same people who promote this pro-life bullshit are also for the death penalty. Most of them. What kind of pro-life is that? I don't know of a man who has been pregnant, so I, I wanted to say that it assures women's rights. Do you think a pro-life egg or fetus should be considered a human life? Um, I think different people do consider it based on what religion you're from or what your beliefs are. But personally, I do not believe that. A fetus considered a human life? Uh, no. No. I mean, after a few months, yes, but not, you know, in the initial stages. No. So, so uh, no. more like a part of a human's, uh, woman's body, right? Yeah, yeah. But yes, I do believe that it's a human being. And just like what the Bible says, that when Elizabeth, the cousin of Mary, came together, it said that both babes were jumping in the womb. So actually our babies hear the things that we as mom and dad say. They can tell whether or not, you know, as the parents are arguing, all of these things influence the baby in the womb. I believe that a woman should have a choice over her body, irregardless of what those thoughts are. I think that once we start to define what's viable and what's not viable, I think we're going past the idea of who owns the body. That's not the point. So the I, I see which side you are on. No, no, no. But that's not the point. Uh, people pro, 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 who are pro-life, the basically their, their main point is that they believe a fetus is a life. It so is alive. It is alive. So is a fly and so is the steak that I ate for lunch. You know, that doesn't make me a murderer. Uh, so between prohibiting sex before marriage and prohibiting abortion, which one do you think is more acceptable? Is acceptable in today? Uh, prohibiting sex. People are for sex before marriage today and that's why I believe we're having so many abortions. Prohibiting abortion? That's a hard question. <laughs> I 
think both are unacceptable. They're both, you know, fundamental right, like fundamental freedoms that you should have to choose whether to have sex or not, or to choose what to do with your body. I don't believe that I can rank those. I think they're both places where the government does not have the right to trample. I find them both equally unrealistic. So amongst guns, marijuana, abortion, and prostitution, which one do you think should be banned the most? Guns. None. Guns. <laughs> I guess, yeah. What should be banned? Uh, guns. Guns. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, guns. Guns. Yeah. As a European, <laughs> guns definitely. We don't understand the American culture. So right? I don't understand. I don't understand that people can just buy a gun here. It's kind of it, it, it's fucked up in my opinion. I don't understand how it's a fundamental freedom to be able to carry a gun. Uh, no. Yeah. I would say abortion. Yeah. I I don't agree with smoking marijuana. I used to smoke marijuana, and it's leading a lot of people to wrong decisions. But the 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 abortion issue, these, these babies don't have a choice. And I believe that many of you ladies will regret having an abortion at a later period. What about guns? Guns also kill people. They, they do kill serious. people. I I myself used to be a big hunter and a fisherman. I used to, I used to work on a mink ranch where we would kill ten to twelve thousand mink a year. And the Lord changed my heart. I gave up mink ranching. I put down my guns. I gave up hunting. I became a vegetarian. Myself, I'm a Seventh Adventist. I don't believe in owning a gun. And I don't believe in going to war. And I don't believe in killing any other people. I believe that as a Seventh Adventist Christian, that we should be willing to die ourselves before taking someone else's life. I don't think drugs should be banned. I think there's a lot smarter things that we can do. And I think that often runs into a simplistic argument that's that's inappropriate. I work as an ER doctor. I believe that there's some more common sense things that we can do with guns than what we've done. But the idea that freedom means I can do whatever I want without having some limits placed on me by society, when buying a gun brings less regulation than buying a car. I think we're missing the point and, and the, the function of government is to provide a safe environment for its citizens to live in. So amongst guns, marijuana, abortion and prostitution, which ones do you think should be banned the most? Wrong, wrong grouping. Totally wrong grouping. Wrong grouping. Offensive. Offensive. First of all, you don't call it prostitution. You have to call it sex work. Because e even the fuddy duddies in Mississippi call it sex work. If you call it prostitution, that tells everything about you. Because who else would say prostitution, marijuana, whatever, abortion? I mean, it's like the seven de deadly sins. You know, you. Oh, you only rounded up four. You should have talked about greed, and envy, you know, those are the deadly sins.